Hey guys, welcome to Tech Crew. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to pair any controller with Steam so you can use whatever controller you want with this imported Steam game or just other Steam games that you have and you want to use a generic controller or a PlayStation controller or a Switch controller. So to do this, what you want to do is first you want to have your controller paired and connected to your system. So this video is kind of like a follow up to a video I made earlier. This is a video on how to uh, add Microsoft Store games to Steam. So if you guys are interested in that video there's also that that you can go ahead and watch so what you want to do is with your controller paired and or either connected via cable you want to go ahead and open steam and then you want to enter the steam big picture mode and the reason for this is that steam's big picture mode actually supports many 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 more controllers than the regular mode well maybe not many because there aren't that many obviously but it does support controllers a little bit better than the regular version and as you can see, my PS5 controller is already working here as I already have it enabled in the configuration support. And as the PS5 controller is now supported, all of Sony's PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 controllers are supported. I'm not sure about PlayStation 3, but if you are using PlayStation controller, an easier way to actually do that might just be to use the uh, SCP toolkit, which makes it a lot easier to basically use your PS3 or PS4 controllers and it will basically just emulate them as Xbox 360 controllers. But otherwise, if you're using PS4 or PS5, or in the case, even if you're just using PS5 controllers, Steam is really the only way that I know right now to use it with other games. Uh, so that's definitely the easiest way to do it in this case. Otherwise, I highly recommend trying out SCP Toolkit if that's what your primary purpose is. If you're trying to use a Switch Pro controller, then this is a great way. Xbox controllers are already supported, so you shouldn't really worry about that as uh, Windows 10 and most games natively support Xbox controllers already out of the box. So you don't really have to worry about that. But obviously inside of Steam, you have a lot of controller uh, calibration options. And if you're using a generic controller, Steam also gives you the ability to actually map each of the buttons on your controller to an Xbox 360 controller. So before the PlayStation 5 controller was actually supported, that's what I tried to get it working with. And I had it working fine and it worked pretty flawlessly in my use case. So basically once you've got that done, you just choose whichever controller you have, whether it be PlayStation, Switch Pro or generic, Xbox, don't worry about that too much. But if you are using an Xbox controller with Steam, you can just go ahead and enable that. But most games should natively support it out the box, you don't have to do anything or enter big picture mode. But just choose the controller you want and it should show the detected controller and then just get all your settings working. And at that point now your controller should be working across the steam big picture mode so you can just go ahead to your library and open any game you want now i would show you guys forza horizon 4 is that seems like the game that most people are interested in to get this working with but that game's not actually working for me right now so i'm going to show you guys another game overcooked that i actually have on the epic game store but the same way that it works with this it should work for forza horizon 4 if any of you are interested in that so don't really worry about that but i'll just show you guys that it does actually work Though keep in mind that if you are using a PlayStation controller, I highly recommend checking out SCB Toolkit as it's a lot easier and there's not like a big path and you can just have it always running. It doesn't really use that much RAM or system resources. So it's really just an easy service to have if you're using PlayStation controllers. Now, once you're in the game, your controller should be working as long as uh, it was working in Steam Big Picture mode. And if you're using a generic gamepad, just make sure you have all your buttons mapped correctly. And yes, if you're using PlayStation controller, obviously you have to remember that the buttons won't come up as PlayStation buttons, but they will come up as Xbox buttons. In most cases, that will be fine and you will be able to get used to it eventually. And yeah, that's basically it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.